She got a haircut yesterday, so she so look at those beautiful eyes. Look at those beautiful eyes. Hmm? You happy girl. You happy girl. Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, this is going to be a single perfume review. So in today's video, I am going to be reviewing Angel Share by Killian but the dupe of it. I have smelled Angel Share, so I do have my thoughts on it. But right here in front of me, I have the dupe for Angel Share, and I'm going to basically dive into the notes, compare the two, and let you guys know if they are comparable dupes. Before we get into this video, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on, and let's get straight into this perfume. So to start off with, Killian's Angel Share is obviously a niche perfume. It is, I think it's like $210. It's a lot, especially for a perfume like that. I feel like Angel Share is a type of perfume where it's not going to be your everyday perfume. You know what I mean? It's definitely a fall fragrance. I feel like it's very suffocating to wear that perfume in any other weather other than the colder weather because in the warmer months, it's just too much. You're going to suffocate yourself and everybody around you. So that's just a little warning about it. And so for a perfume to have that kind of price point and you can only really wear it for like three to four months out of the year. It's personally not something that I would splurge on. So having a dupe is insanely helpful because you get to try out the fragrance at a much lower cost. And the dupe that I have today is of Juliana's Perfume. I'm always gonna talk about Juliana's Perfume. And every time I do talk about them on my channel, because I do collaborate with them a lot, as you guys know if you follow me, and that's simply because I truly love the company. I would never recommend something and let you guys spend your hard-earned money on something that I didn't even like. So obviously I love this company and I think they are so high quality. So this video is in collaboration with Juliana's Perfume and today I have the dupe for Angel Share and their version of Angel Share is called Kissed by an Angel. I love that name. I will say for a perfume that's called Angel Share, I don't understand why it's called Angel Share because I don't know, when I think of like an angelic perfume, I don't think of a super loud perfume like this perfume is. So that kind of throws me off. I don't really know what Killian was thinking with that name. Or if the name actually has a meaning that actually correlates to the fragrance, let me know if you guys know anything about that. Because otherwise, to me, it just like doesn't really make any sense. Before we get into this fragrance, I just have a quick little rundown on the house of Juliana's Perfumes. So if you're new here, Juliana's Perfumes is a very popular dupe house. They dupe a lot of really, really high-end niche fragrances, but they also are kind of unique in the sense that they dupe a lot of harder to find perfumes. I have a lot of perfumes that they have sent me of perfumes that I've always wanted to get, but they are like extinct online. Like they've just been discontinued and so Either people have raised the prices like crazy, so the perfumes were like $700, which is ridiculous, or you just can't find them. So they kind of make it really easy for you because they give you not only an affordable dupe to that perfume, but it's available. And for me, having tried so many of their dupes and also having the original, testing them like side by side, I can 1000% say that they are like 100% dupes. Like so spot on, you cannot tell the difference between the dupe and the original. And it's crazy, I don't know how they do it, but if you actually look into the notes of them, like you actually compare the composition of the original and the notes that are in the Juliana's dupes, I don't know how they do it, but they literally have almost the exact composition. So I'm just like, how are they making money? I don't know, but... I'm not complaining. When you do get your shipment in, it'll come in a beautiful box like this. It definitely gives you a luxurious experience. Your perfume is going to be right here, right behind it. You get a little tester, and what you're supposed to do is before you open up the brand new perfume, when you get this, there will be like a little sticker on it. Before you peel off that sticker, make sure that you test out this little tester and make sure that you like it because if you don't, they give you the luxury of just putting back the perfume and shipping it back to them. Just do not remove that sticker and you do not like open the perfume. Just try out the tester and test it out first and see if you even like the fragrance. And that's great because then you're just not 
wasting products for no reason and along with your actual perfume you do also get to choose so it's not like these are random you get to choose whichever two fragrance samples that you want from all of the perfumes that they have on their website this month i got inner beauty inner beauty is a dupe for delina i love having this and this is a personal message to juliana's perfumes i love inner beauty i do have inner beauty exclusive in a full-size bottle i have all my juliana's perfumes over there i do have the exclusive in a full-size bottle but i i hope to have the original inner beauty in a full-size bottle as well because i love i love this perfume i used to not like it and something has happened and now I'm obsessed with it. I think it smells so feminine and beautiful. And then they also sent me Call Me By Your Name. This is a dupe for Gourmand Coquin. I don't know how to really say that. I have never tried that. But this is incredible. It smells like straight up chocolate, sweetness, vanilla. It's like so good. Literally, if you want to smell like chocolate get this if you guys are interested in getting this perfume or any other perfumes from their website they have a bunch more so definitely check out their website and see all of the perfumes that they have duped because you probably will find something that you're interested in and if you do find something that you like you can use my code 10 off for 10 percent off of your first order so anyways let's get straight into comparing the angel share versus kissed by an angel so let's first obviously start out with the composition of both so the notes in the original angel share the top notes are cognac middle notes of cinnamon tonka bean and oak and base notes of praline vanilla and sandalwood so it's extremely boozy cinnamony extremely spicy and a lot of people say that it smells like a cinnamon roll and I, I definitely agree after smelling this. The main accords of it are woody, warm, spicy, sweet, vanilla, cinnamon, amber, and powdery. So more than anything, you can expect this fragrance to be extremely, extremely sweet. And it is. Now, on the other hand, the notes of the Juliana's perfume dupe of it, Kissed by an Angel. In this perfume, you get top notes of cinnamon, orange, and chocolate. Middle notes of orris, mirror. I don't know what that is, caramel and vanilla and base notes of tonka beans, sweet notes, sandalwood, wood notes, and amber. So if you kind of compare, they basically have variations of the same type of notes, if that makes any sense. Angel Share is an extremely popular scent, which you'll come to know if you get into fragrances. You'll find it all over YouTube, in the fragrance community, you'll find it on TikTok. A lot of celebrities wear it. It's extremely, extremely, extremely popular and it's a very unique scent, but because it's extremely unique, it is also very polarizing. So I don't think it's a fragrance that everybody would love. I don't think it's a crowd pleaser, but that comes with a lot of uniqueness and you're not gonna smell like every other person out here that's wearing Baccarat Rouge. No shade to Baccarat Rouge, love you girl, but everybody wears it. So when I first smelled Angel Share, I went with the intention of buying it because I was like, this perfume has so much hype, I just, I wanna get it. Even though it's super expensive, I was on a mission to buy it and when I went in there and I smelled the fragrance, I was like, I don't think this is for me, but it was also not the right time. Like I think I went in the summer of last year, so I feel like it was just way too much and we were walking around the mall after spraying it. My husband and I had both sprayed it on our hands because it is a unisex perfume, so that's a fun fact if you do get this perfume. It did smell different on him, like on him it was coming off more cologne vibes and then on me it was coming out just more sweet than anything so it kind of like adapted to us I feel like so that was a good thing about it it was just way too much which is why I decided not to get it and I have this perfume right now on my wrist I've been testing it out in the past few days and I can tell you this this perfume is not going to leave your skin you barely even need two sprays like don't go past two sprays just literally spray it from like afar like one two and put it down because it she'll suffocate you if you overdo this fragrance this is a very warm scent when people compare this to cinnamon rolls i definitely understand that it literally smells like like fresh out the oven cinnamon rolls super warm it's like you can literally feel the warmth or i guess smell the warmth in this fragrance and i definitely get that cinnamony spicy aspect but it's like 
it's really sweet like it's mixed in really really well with the sweet notes and i will say having smelled the original and now this it's like the exact same scent but weirdly enough i don't know if it's because i have this weird thing where if i don't like a fragrance i end up liking it at some point or if i like it at some point i end up not liking it and now smelling this although the first time i ever smelled the original i was like not about it it was not really meshing that well with my skin smelling this on my skin I actually really really like it but it has to be a cold weather fragrance for sure because this is one of those scents where it'll almost make you feel warm and cozy because of how warm that it is it just has like this really rich warmth about it in the winter this will be so nice because like you're wearing like a scarf boots your coat or whatever i'm over here dreaming because i live in florida so we don't have that but maybe in like the two weeks where it goes down to 60 and the floridians are like freezing <laughs> this will be really nice in those times i really really like this i'm excited to have this in my collection because it's a fragrance i have wanted for a really 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 long time but one that i will never spend the actual money on that the original is like over $200 yeah no if you guys do like more of a spicy warm fall like this literally gives me all the fall vibes like leaves falling that orangey beautiful fall color every time i smell it that's what this gives me like not even winter but just fall time this is a beautiful fragrance for that like i cannot wait until it starts getting into the fall time although i love my summertime now that like my vacations and all of that are over i'm like okay I, I'm ready for fall now. It's probably my most coziest perfume to date, I feel like. And I'm so excited to have yet another Juliana's perfume added to my little collection over there because I truly love these perfumes. And by the way, these are all Extra de Parfums. All of their perfumes are, meaning they are the highest oil concentration that you can get in a perfume. The Extra de Parfum basically means that it's never going to leave your skin. I've had a lot of people comment on my videos whenever I talk about this company and you guys have told me that when you've tried the original of whatever perfume you got, it didn't even last on you as long as these do. So just putting it out there. These really, really like are A1 in the performance game. So anyways, that is the full little review that I have on Kissed by an Angel. If you want to smell like a sweet, warm, cozy, delicious cinnamon roll this fall and winter, pick this up. You're not going to regret right, it. So that is it for this video. I know it was kind of a short one. I do want to start doing like single fragrance reviews type of videos just so if you are looking for like a specific fragrance you can just like find it on my channel and click on it instead of having to sit through like an entire video of me talking about a bunch of perfumes and this way I can also give a little bit more information and talk a little bit more in depth on a single fragrance if you guys have any other kind of like single perfumes that you want me to like do dedicated videos to leave them down below for me and I will try to get to them thank you again to Juliana's perfumes for sponsoring today's video and don't forget if you guys do find something that you like like the perfume I just talked about or any other perfume on their website make sure that you use my code 10 off to get 10 percent off at checkout on your first order but that is it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn post notifications on and i will see you guys in my next video bye